Hello, and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since the very beginning, I truly do appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. If you're looking for me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me at my Facebook group page. Just a couple quick questions and I'll let you write in. You can reach me directly at my email address or I do have a Discord available to those who would be interested in it. The email and Facebook group page will be linked in the description box below. For our last video for our cauldron entries, we have Aussie Sandy. Eight Smiley Lady and Sally Stevens, thank you for your active participation in the channel and congratulations on making the cauldron. Now I haven't finished anything yarny since the last time I spoke to you, but I have started a couple things and I started and finished a bead weaving project. So I thought I would jump in here, tell you about my crochet whips and show you the bracelet that I finished. I am going to be starting a, another bead weaving project that's going to be going on the belt for my dress. Hopefully in the next couple of days I will have time to get that started. I've also made approximately six bags since the last time I've seen you guys. I did not take any pictures. Matter of fact, everybody that uh, is getting a bag that has one on the way, I'm extremely sorry. I completely forgot to put a card in. I forgot to put a stitch marker in. I was running on autopilot and I guess uh, forgot about half of what I was supposed to be doing. So I do deeply apologize to those that have made orders. And I promise you, if you let me know the next time we do something, I will make up for it and you'll get you know something even more special. Just to say, hey, I'm sorry, uh, I had a lapse of memory and uh, forgot to do so. And um, I let it known on the Facebook page, but I didn't say anything here because I wanted to, I knew I wasn't going to have very many and I didn't want to have to tell a whole bunch of people no. I have put together um, some big box store advent style boxes these boxes contain 24 50 gram or slightly larger uh, cakes and one seven ounce ball now i only have one more available it is 45 dollars shipping within the united states extra for shipping outside of if you are interested in that please do get a hold of me at my email address first come first serve. I only have one more left. Um, I took some, I had like four totes of uh, what I deemed scrap yarn. I had used something out of it or the ball band had got broke off and it got caked up so it got put in a, a tote. I took those totes and I made up the 50 gram minis and then I went through my stash and pulled uh, one full size ball out for everybody that in each box um that way that hopefully someone that is unable to um get themselves a indie dyer advent style box is able to enjoy that style and you know not feel like you know they can't participate whether it be because of cost or you know, um, allergic to um, animal fibers, which most of the Advent boxes are made from wool. Okay, so the two projects that I'm working on, I've made one of these, well, actually I've made both of these before, but the first one, the Amigurumi that I'm working on, I am making another one of the Tulip Fairies. She turns from the beautiful little fairy into the tulip. Now, I'm not using these colors. I am using a bright, proper, in-your-face Hunter's Orange. And then a deeper, darker, um, burnt orange. Because I did want a two-toned lily. I just did not want orange and pink. This is being made for someone special. But you may or may not see it when she opens it. Um, I'm sure many of you will have a good guess on where this is going. But 
I'm going to leave it up to that. If, if you guess correctly, I'm not going to say. If you guess incorrectly, I'm not going to say. So you may guess way, if you please. <laughs> but I just got a just little bit more of her head, a little tiny bit of a torso, connect her to this bit, and then I will, you know, of course, sew in all my ends and finish off the stem. I can probably complete this in an hour or so tonight if I do sit down and actually get to work on it. And then since I had one bin left of the um scrap yarn, lovely leftovers, as Miss Sarah Moo over at uh, Crafty Moo Sarah um, would say, I decided, well, why not stop, start a scrappy corner to corner? So I chose a ball, and then I chose a neutral, and then I chose another ball, and then I chose a neutral, and then I chose... So you can see what I'm doing here. Now, I am not allowing it to go halfway down and then break. I only, I stop when I realize that I'm not going to have enough to make another pass. I have started to square off on this end. And now I'm going to be making a rectangle blanket in Hopefully, it will be big enough maybe for the Boggy Creek thing. I thought, you know, what a way, what a good way to use up some scrap yarn. Kids like all the colors a lot of times, and there's no rhyme or reason to how thick or thin these um, are going to be because, well, I have varying size balls. Now, I'm not sure if I will have enough gray to make that my neutral all the way through, although I am hoping I do, as I do have a good bit of gray left. And then I figured I'll make something else scrappy with whatever's left, either that or make a slightly bigger donation to one of the local churches that, uh, you know, they have a ladies group that, that does for charity. Um, because I have now, I have approximately 25 bins full of yarn. Now, one of those bins is um, wool and a couple of those bins are cotton. And I am not trying to de-stash my wool or my cotton. I am just trying to de-stash all of my big box store yarn. Um, acrylic yarns mainly. Now, this does not mean I will never use acrylic yarn again. I am honestly not a yarn snob. It's just I realize what I enjoy making are wearables. For me, wearables cannot be made out of acrylic yarn. Not for where I live and not for my comfort. So, I'm going to have yarn in my stash that inspires me to make the things that I truly enjoy making. Um, I would never tell anybody that their stash is wrong, and I hope that no one takes it upon themselves to tell me that my stash is either. All right, everybody, I am going to hop on out of here so that I can get this tulip fairy done and possibly a little something to go with her <coughs> egg. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, that might tell you where that's going and then I'll crack on with this uh, corner to corner and hopefully Within the next week or so I will get started on my belt I have tried a couple times and so far it has eluded me as to what is working for me um, I've tried and ripped out quite a few times I've been dealing with a little bit of stider itis but I think I finally have it under control because if I get too many projects started I get a little overwhelmed and then I don't want to do anything at all so I have whittled it down to the two crochet projects and any orders that happen to come in as well as you know a project in each one of the other crafts but all right, until next time, everybody, I truly hope that you're crafting your happiness. I'm trying to do a live on Monday sometime, um, possibly Tuesday, not 100% sure yet. Um, I'm going to have to talk to a couple of my girlfriends. I was trying to set it up through StreamYard. I wanted to do it tonight, but I couldn't figure out how to do it through StreamYard and make it a members-only live. So, 
one of my monetized sisters, if you could hit me up and let me know the answer to that question, it would be greatly appreciated. If not, I'm sure I'll run into you somewhere and talk to you about it then. All right. Bye for now. So editing me, popping back in, because I realized that I'm such a big jerk. I told you guys about a bracelet that I completed, and then I didn't bother to show it to you. I'm sorry about that. Here it is. <laughs> oh, now, I did mess up the clasp on this side, but I will do better next time. You know, it's I haven't done this since I was a kid in school, so it was... Refiguring out a couple things, but after a couple little hiccups, it was off to the races we went, and I'm very happy with the results, other than, of course, the clasp on this side being messed up. But there will be other bracelets, and I will do better, and that little mistake will remind me to take a little bit more cautious when, or caution, excuse me, when, um, doing that part. Okay, for real this time.